Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm really excited about. I'm going to have a look at Nate Ebner. Now I started getting recommendations to look at this guy literally months ago, like three or four months ago. I still haven't because of the fact that I knew that I wanted to do it properly, I wanted to make a reaction on it and um, I wanted to do all the research necessary and watch all the clips necessary and all the shit. Okay? So with that being said, oh we've got low disk space, oh okay. Patriots Nate Ebner living Olympic rugby dream following unspeakable tragedy. Whoa. Okay. Alright. Let's just get into it. Let's watch this. I, like, what I know so far is that he plays rugby for the Patriots. The Patriots let him go to the Olympic games and play sevens for the uh, rugby sevens for the USA so he's played both I don't know if he's played any other rugby other than that but I'm sure we're about to find out so let's let's watch and I mean this is fucking tragic it says his last words to his murdered his last words to his murdered father were a promise to make the NFL so he walked on at Ohio State and won a Super Bowl with the Patriots now He's heading to Rio to play rugby. Okay. I I'm not going to look up Wikipedia. I'm just going to watch this. We have Nate Hebner, three TDs today and an interception. My line, they blocked great, and the QB got me the ball and everything. Everything worked out fine, so we did good. Fucking hell, that's cute. Football, all 11 players being on the same page and executing at the same time, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh shit man, I've got the biggest rush of goosebumps all over my body. It's sport man, it is sport. It's rugby, it's football, it's the stories that come through sport, it's the passion, you know, it's everything. I fucking love sport. Patriots won a Super Bowl. Won a Super Bowl! NFL, four years, going on my fifth year this year, to sign another contract. He played actually for the USA as a 17 year old. Rugby means so much to me. Bang! What a hit! The Patriots to chase an Olympic gold medal. We're all wrapped up as an organization, just hoping that we can get to see him on a medal stand. And Ebna now! Yeah, Ebna! For his first try! See, I've, I've literally, guys, I've, I've, I've heard this guy's name for months, okay? And this is how I often feel with these reactions. I've heard this guy's name for months, yet I've never seen his face, but I still already feel like I know him. You know what I mean? But now I'm putting a face to a name, so it's like, okay, well, you're Nate Ebner. Okay. Right. I grew up in Ohio. My parents were separated. I lived with my mom and went to school where she lived in Columbus. Spent weekends and, and summers with my dad working in the junkyard in uh, Springfield, Ohio. Growing up in a junkyard is different. At 15, he was driving a loader. He was smashing cars. I think he learned how hard work can be. He worked from the morning till the evening right alongside his dad. Me and my dad were super tight. We did everything together from working in the junkyard to playing sports. I picked up rugby from my dad. He um, played for many, many years as a young kid, six or seven years old, going to his games on Saturdays and having him, you know, toss it around with me. It was something I gravitated towards. The bond between us was already <laughs> a strong one, but it got even stronger, obviously, through rugby. They were like friends, I mean, Jeff certainly still played the parental role if he felt Nate was out of line, but he also just enjoyed him as a person. All that experience I had at such a young age, developing a skill set in passing and catching, coupled with being a decent athlete, allowed me to be a pretty decent <laughs> rugby player throughout. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm about to tear up because, man, I'm, I'm just expecting some amazing news in this, in this thing, but fuck me, that coffee's hot. 
I just burnt my tongue, god damn it. Oh. It's not good. Grade school, high school. It got kind of serious for me around the age of 16 and then getting invited to USA under 19 team and going to the Junior World Cup, I kind of stopped playing other sports. I didn't play football in high school. Played rugby in college at Ohio State. Oh yeah! Good work! I would say the NFL dream kind of came around for me. So you played rugby at Ohio State. Okay, we're about to hear it. When did it come around for you, man? As I was nearing the end of my junior World Cups in rugby, that itch for football was still there between not playing at all in high school with any of my friends, just being at Ohio State, the hype that football gets there, coupled with all the people telling me I might be a good rugby player but I could never play football at Ohio State, brought together enough of a desire for me to go after it. Nate trusted his dad totally, so anything that was going on in his mind, he'd call his dad. And I voiced to him, you know, my desires to play football because I had a good rugby career going at the time and to, to leave that just to play football at Ohio State wasn't a good enough excuse. So you know, after that conversation with him, we kind of set out a goal that I was going to walk on to Ohio State and I was going to play in the NFL and that's what I was bound and determined to do. I have learned one thing from Nate and that's when he puts his mind to it, he usually succeeds. So when he was talking about the NFL, I wasn't surprised. The last conversation I had with my dad was November 12th, 53-year-old Jeffrey Ebner was found severely beaten inside his business Thursday night. He's described as a family man who was a champion rugby player. Ebner was flown to Miami Valley Hospital and died this afternoon. He was beaten to death. It was a robbery which led to his death. It was blunt force trauma to the head. Through the investigation, um, there was a, a piece of a pipe that was located in the office area, and uh, which we believe that that was the, the instrument that caused uh, the injury to Mr. Ebner. He was caught off guard, attacked in, in a violent manner. I don't think anyone should die like that. For somebody to commit a robbery, you know, to take somebody's life over, you know, just a few dollars is horrific. I was kind of past the stage of him being, you know, a father figure as much as he was more just a best friend to me. To lose him so early like that, obviously it hurt and it was, you know, hard to deal with and put me in a bad place. It's the worst moment of your life. I mean, my, oh, my heart just broke for him. I mean, it's sad for me, but broke for him. How are you going to let this affect you going forward for the rest of your life? How are you going to live, you know, a positive life and, and not let this affect you? That that was the struggle. I said, Nate, that would be you a struggle, have to man. live your life. You have so much life to live. And if your dad were standing next to me, he would not want to see. He just would not want to see you give up your life because of this. Definitely was grateful for the time that I had and the father that I had, and I was gonna make that count for as much as I could. Look at that fucking st No wonder he wanted to play, man. <laughs> if I walked into that stadium, god damn, I'd want to play too. Ended up making the team, and that was one step towards the, the end goal of making it to the NFL. First time coming out of the tunnel, it definitely felt like, you know, my dad was with me, my whole family was with me. To see him run through that tunnel in front of that crowd was so The quickest way for me to get on the field was through What a field. tackle! It was simple enough, the ball's kicked off, chase down the Fucking smash him! Tackle the guy with the ball. 
My thing was if I had more tackles than everybody else and made a big enough impact on special teams that a team <laughs> would be willing to pick me up and take a chance on me. I just wanted a shot. When you think about a young man being a walk-on at Ohio State and then after one year being the most outstanding special teams player, big hot prototype patriot. Jack. Prototype Patriot. Boom, baby. That's why he's at the Patriots. He's a battler. Oh, shit. Day comes along, and sure enough, you know, Bill Bill checks on the other line saying, uh, congratulations, you're, you're a New England Patriot. He was the 197th pick. 197. You can take pride in knowing he was picked two places ahead of Tom Brady, who was the 199th pick. Just being a part of the NFL and winning the Super Bowl and all that was just another stamp on this journey that I've had. Give yourself a yes, 81, no way. Drug you said you had seven For me to hear a couple years back. Hey! That that's John Alomu! Bruv, he was there. When he got accepted into as an Olympic sport, he was one of the biggest ambassadors of the sport, man. Look at him. He's right there. He's fucking, he's passed away, man. At the age of 40. It's fucking tragic. This guy right here, John Lomu. He is the biggest superstar ever in world rugby. And he's from New Zealand. And he was there. And it looks like that might be Nate Edna beside, no, it's not, it can't be. It can't be. Nah, it's not. But that's fuck. That's Jonah Lomu. Man. For me to hear a couple years back that it was going to be reintroduced to the Olympics, growing up playing that sport and it being such a big part of my life, how can you not want to be a part of that? How can you not want to be on that team? The Patriots. I think they just understand that there's a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. Believe it or not, Jared Hayne was an ex-rugby player, he's playing back, he's back playing rugby, but he was in the, the 2015 season for the, uh, fifth, for the uh, 49ers. He played one season, um, and he tried to leave the 49ers and go and play for his native country, which is Fiji. So he had the same dreams as Nate, to go and play sevens in the Olympic Games and try and win a gold medal. Believe it or not, Jared Hayne tried to try out for the team, but he wasn't picked. So that's as if Nate Ebner gets released to go and play for the, uh, the US Sevens team and then doesn't make the team. So Jared Hayne was bitterly disappointed, as you can imagine, but looks like Nate Ebner had a, a f you know, he was definitely gonna play regardless. A lot of people talk a lot, but how many people go out and execute on their dream? No one. Did you just listen to that? Listen to the shit. People talk a lot, but how many Listen. There's a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. A lot of people talk a lot, but how many people go out and execute on their dream? But what you got with Nate? Not many fucking people, man, I can tell you that much. Not fucking many. Ugh. Oh, I want to be one of those people, He's man. He's an exceptionally powerful athlete. He's 100% in. See the desire in his eyes, and he goes out and he empties the tank every time, all the time. I think my dad would have been smiling ear to ear just to see everything that's kind of happened. He knows that he's fulfilling something that probably his dad would have loved to do. He thinks about him every day. He still has moments where I know he wishes his dad were a part of this, be able to see it and talk to him and give him any kind of guidance he might want. But I'm doing this for not, not only you know him or not only myself, but my friends and family who followed my entire journey. It's really just kind of for everyone and it's almost something I feel like I'm meant to do. 
I don't know that I can really put into words what it would mean to me to be fighting for, for a gold medal in, in Rio. I don't know what really made me cry. It's like it's just that it's a great story, and it's 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 the sport that I freaking love, man. I fucking love rugby. I'm actually thinking. I'm actually think. Look, man. I don't know if this is gonna. I don't know if this is gonna make it into the video, but I'm just thinking of my own dad. I'm basically imagining if, it, 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 as if he, he died. That's, that's, what, that's what this emotion is coming from. I'm imagining being here without my dad, which would suck. So that's where this is coming from, man. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. All right, man. We're going to call this a day. I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? I'll be all right. I'll be fine. Dry your eyes, mate. That's what they say. <laughs> I'll see you later. I gotta go.